Good evening, this is Keithos, and I am playing through another episode of Anti-Chamber. Um, if you haven't caught the first episode, I would definitely recommend catching that real quick, just so you understand uh, how this game works. It's just a puzzle-oriented game uh, that throws a couple of, I, I would say, entertaining concepts at you. Uh, there there's some light-hearted uh, little hints and accomplishments that you can get as you make it through the game, and so far I'm really enjoying this. This is actually the exact kind of game that I like to play. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the games that I used to play as a kid growing up, where it's less about the action and the graphics and uh, more more about just kind of putting you in an environment, and the, uh, a place that uh, doesn't necessarily adhere to what you're used to conventionally, and just trying to find your way through this experience. So I've really enjoyed this so far. Um, this is where I left off last time, and I remember we ate, we had this um, kind of snarky note over here. That uh, if you aren't paying attention, you'll miss everything around you. I can see... Oh, okay. So clearly I need to be looking around wherever I go. Because I really look like I can get up there. Uh, I don't think I can do anything with that. Uh, and I still don't know what this cream soda room does, but it feels delicious. Oh, Right, right. So I remember there was a hole down here that uh, was annoying to get out of. Yeah, I still don't see exactly where the game wants me to go. It's curious. Maybe I'll go back. Maybe we'll try a different room on this map. Looks like we have a junction here that we might have missed. Let's, let's go back to the Leap of Faith. Walk. Might be going a little too fast now. We're good. We've got our breakdancing baby again. And last time we walked through that wall, that was uh, when we discovered that we had superpowers. So let's go this way. We've got a. Oh shoot! It's me not paying attention again. I don't even know where that's supposed to go. It's just kind of a. Looks like a pothole on one Memorial Drive. All right, so uh, looks like this guy is having an awkward moment with this lady friend over here. We often fall into things when we least expect. No, it doesn't look like anybody's falling into anything. I hope not. All right, I get to channel my inner Olympian. Ah, no. Nope. Must be something I'm missing here. I don't think I'm gonna make it over that wall. Guess I'm not qualifying for the Olympics. But I can jump over holes, so if that ever becomes an Olympic sport. Oh, whoa. I guess I'm also good at falling into holes, too. It's kind of ominous. Oh, we've dealt with this before. Gonna be kind of an overused mechanic. At least I'm getting better at it. Alright. We have made it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we've been here before. Yeah, yeah, that's that's how I feel. WTF! We saw this. Dig a little deeper and you may find something new. Oh, God. Did I do that last time, too? Oh, this looks new. <laughs> it's like uh, the Monopoly guy, if you want to do magic. <laughs> and, and by magic, I mean that stupid dad trick where it makes it look like your finger is detached from your hand. What appears to... What appears impossible may have a very simple answer. Right? Tide, tide goes in, tide goes out. Can't explain that. We've also got a, uh... It's like a very angry duck. Maybe, uh... He's just having a bad day. How we perceive a problem can change every time we see it. That is true. There are so many choices. Oh. oh. I... 
So, for a game that does not have intense graphics, I am very surprised at how bad the frame rate is getting right now. Uh, but we will roll with it. Okay. I have a theory here. So I'm looking at the eyeball. Um, it is what? I, you know what? My theory is just completely blown out of the water because I... Ooh, maybe I should... Okay, I screwed that up. Like that's, uh... It's like when I try to get into the elevator at work, it just kind of shuts right in my face. Wow, this latency is getting bad. I am really sorry. Oh god. Oh man, this guy needs some glasses. If you need a magnifying glass to read a piece of paper that big, you're going to have bigger problems later in life. The solution to a problem may just require more thorough look at it. Alright. I am looking at it, and I don't think it's helping. So these, these guys don't like it when I move, so maybe... I don't know if it's going to hurt me. Maybe if I just walk slowly. Yeah, we're friends. The terrifying ping pong balls and I are buddies. This even looks like there's something down there. But, uh, I know better. I know better than to be jumping down holes. That never ends well. Right. I have a tightrope walker who's walking a tightrope between what looks like uh, two, uh, two legs. It's kind of exciting. That's a neat, uh, trick. Moving through a problem slower may help find the solution. Oh, well, I, that's what I just did. Okay. Thanks for telling me afterwards. Oh no, are they gonna show me the intro to up? That would be devastating. I hope this game doesn't have a an emotional aspect to it, because I just can't take it. Alright, up. Looks like we're going up. We have a, a fine display of green lasers, the finest lasers. Just a, a place I should not go. Oh, I thought the laser would open the door. Isn't that... Yeah, there we go. What? That's something to do with... I don't know what the difference is here. Okay. Wait, no. I... What? You guys can go ahead and yell at me in the comments for, like, what stupid thing I'm missing here, but I'm not sure why break... Oh? Uh, no. Uh, whatever. Maybe I can't go that way right now. Oh, I guess we're going down the hole. What is that? Oh, so the tide rope walker fell. That's kind of tragic. Rushing through a problem always... Yeah, but I jumped down intentionally. I know you're trying to tell me that because you think I walked across the bridge fast. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow, space bar. Dits. Shift. So if I walk sl no, that doesn't work. I guess I just get up here anyway. Oh, hello. Ooh, this game. <laughs> I am somewhere completely different. I, F, life. Life. Yeah, life. Okay. Oh, it's that shy cube that wouldn't hang out with me before. Hey, buddy, what's up? 
you have any plans this weekend? Do you want to go to Cube Fest? No, he doesn't seem very talkative. Do, do I have to, like, chase him? This would be really tedious if this is what I have to do. Yeah, this, uh... I don't know. <laughs> I think that's a little too much if I have to chase him all the way around the room. I feel like that's probably not what I'm trying to accomplish here. But, uh, we're reaching the 10 minute mark. And again, I want to make these episodes short, because, just like me, I'm sure you guys don't like to watch YouTube videos longer than anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes, so that's my next episode of Anti-Chamber. I'll go ahead and do a few more, and you can watch them at your leisure. Again, if you like this game, and you're, if you're having fun watching this playthrough, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave me some comments. I want to know what you guys think. Give me suggestions for games that you'd like to see me play. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you later.